sure he did it a while. No, before. Just after you bought it, I guess. Yeah. Because he put it in the hospital with both but of you guys. Are we going to sit on the couch? I was going to get a tattoo there. Sure, we better sit on the couch. The 49ers play today at 1 o'clock. You can tape it. Hi, Grandma. Can you see both of us? A cable. Continue. Changing property. Get tragic clothing plus one thousand dollars in free cruise travel. For free information. The Tigers have scored in the first inning in four of their last five games. They got the four spot last zero. night, and that's all first. they need. That's all Barry Zeno gave up. Then Gray rolls one here to Dean Fowler, who will take it himself. Stroke and making the game. Ah, oh, these are inputs. You got to put the video I in here. I notice that I'm calm and it feels so soft. It's almost like it's still out. All for nothing. All right, after. So the video output going to an amp from the satellite to an amp that won't go in. So that's all right. We'll just look at the pictures. And you right. scoot over to my mom. We sit in the middle, and then I can sit over next to my mom. What kind of scam is this? Are you get the picture with her, and I'm gonna just stand back here. Run aside. There we go. There we go. All right. What's the date today? 20th. August 20th, 19, no, 2000. 2000. Almost got all snuck up in the old century. All right. We're down here at our place in San Leandro. And uh, we found some, pic done some dome pictures. California, yeah. Some dome pictures I've never seen before. Some of them I have, but some of them I haven't. Now we're going to start off. Okay, we're going to start off with this one. I'll show you in the camera and we'll get a picture set up here oh, so that's we can. why you wanted the TV so she could, okay. Do we go upstairs? It'll well, take us a minute to get set up. I guess. Let's go. All right, we're going to, we're going to stop this for now. We're going to go upstairs where we got a TV so my mom can see these. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's Ashley. This is, uh, don't look at the date on the screen because that's the wrong date. 
Today's again, like we said, uh, August 20th, 9th, uh, 2000. We're here in the Curtis Hall, 2144 Placer Drive, San Leandro, California. We have Will Curtis, thanks to his grandma, Mary Curtis, and then there's Ashley Curtis, daughter of David and Karen Curtis. Okay, so we're going to look at some pictures that I hadn't seen before. Some of them I had. We'll show them to my mom can describe it. Okay, what do we got here? This looks like, let's see if we got a thing on the back. Nope, no date on the back. I don't know when that was taken. <laughs> okay, okay, but started so you, you got an idea where you were here, what, the, what house this was? Probably the one in Hawthorne. I don't know. On Hawthorne Avenue. Okay, so we're going to swing over here to this side of the chair. <clears throat> oh, I've been cutting out. Cutting out what? Cutting out my uncle there on the left. Oh. My uncle Mel. Okay, we'll swing this up here and we'll start over here. Are these an age sequence, Mom? Okay, this is my brother Ed. He's the oldest of the ones living. And that's me, that's me that's Mary That's my Curtis. grandma. <laughs> that's my brother, Arthur Dale. That's my mother, Ann Seller Doan. That's my sister, Joanne Doan. That's my sister-in-law, Millie. She's married to my brother. Which brother? Robert. Robert. And that's Robert, her husband, next to her. And he's the one that, that died, he's right? The one that died in 1943. Family history goes that they were working on the uh, government bomb project, and they were in the lab, and the lab blew up on them. He was a chemist, wasn't he? Mama. Yeah, he was a chemist. Mama. He worked for Dupont. Mama. Chemical. Mama. Go find Grandma. Mama. Mom used to work. Mama. That's my brother, Mel. Mama. Okay. Mama. Uh, estimate of how old you were here, Mom? Mama. Mama. Man, she looks Mama. like Tony. No, Tony, Tony looks, looks like, like her. Mama. Well, let's see. I don't know how old we were. <laughs> I'm sure we were. Ah. In Salt, I'm sure we were in Salt Lake at the time. We were living in Salt Lake. Taking big time on those pictures. Oh, thank you. We're looking at the picture. Look at TV. It's Ashley. We gotta figure out how to. Uh, don't get too complicated here, Curtis. Let's just go ahead and show these pictures. All right, here, look out, Grandpa's gonna put the picture on the screen so Grandma can see what it is. Okay, Mom, what do we got here? I'll pull on all the other people see if you can recognize them. Must be some of my uh, school chums. Could that be a teacher? <clears throat> no, some look like maybe might be some of my cousins, but I can't. Uh, Ow! I can't pick them out. She looks. That looks like Ollie Sellers. I'm not sure. My cousin. No, we'll have to find out later. Does it say anything on the back? No. no. <laughs> that looks like Grandma Doan, but I don't know. Uh, that'd be my father's Mama. mother. Oh, my great grandmother. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her. That's who it looks like. I'm not okay. Sure. So what about these, anything on these kids? See that cute little bee in the middle? I'm sure that's me. <laughs> I'm sure it is, too. So was your mom's mom still alive when you were born? Yeah. 
I don't think I, I don't think I've ever heard. Twelve years old when my grandma Silver passed away. Like but I'm I'm sure that's not Grandma Silver. That must be Grandma Dolan. Oh, look, the date's all messed up. I yeah, told you it's a minute ago. Sit on the seat on the. Mary. Hello, you. This is my mom. <laughs> curly hair. That's where we get our curly hair from. Oh yeah, I. Wonder where you guys get it from, huh? <laughs> what? But I don't know if that was taken in a place called Cloud. Uh, Probably what two here? Yeah. And a place called what? Uh, Cloudburst, New Mexico, I think. I was uh, I was pretty sick. I was pretty sick when I was a baby. I had just about all of my uh, and I was real thin. Like an aunt of mine said one time, she says, "What happened to Mary? She was so thin when she was little." <laughs> Okay, that's my dad. No, that's not my dad. That must be Ed. No, you're in generation too soon. Here, I'll give you, I'll read off the back what the oh, names are, and oh, then you can... Oh, okay. That's my Uncle Dale. Uncle I got it, I got it, get, um... Yeah, that's Somebody my Uncle hold Dale, on here so and I can... my mother, and Uncle Jim, and her br youngest brother, Uncle Joe. Okay, so what do we got? We got... Adelbert is the oldest, so I don't know. What's that? Uh, what is that? A J? Is that James? Uncle Jim, yeah, James. Earl James Sellers. Earl Sellers. Is that a date on here? Yeah, well, he's oh, a years old, so he was more or less. Okay. His mother was born in 18. Albert? You had an Albert in your family? Adelbert. Adelbert. Oh, Adelbert. That's what my uncle, Uncle Ar Arthur Dell, his name was Adelbert Arthur. Don't get up in your chair. No. Okay, so let's turn this over here, and you can tell us again who this is. Now, this is who? Our mother's oldest brother and dad's oldest This is James. Now, who's this? Uh, that's Uncle Dale. Honey, you can around there. That must be mother. You can around there. Hold it by your chair. That must be Uncle Joe. Oh, that's mother. The other, I guess, is uh, Uncle Jim. Looked like a girl, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Let's see, we got his only mother. Mother had a sister, but she was she died, didn't it? When she was real young, died before they went to Mexico. Nine, nine bottles here. Oh. Rebel was born in 1912. Now we got we got we can look at this one yet. That's my dad, mother. Okay, I'll get that. It never shows me here. It's just the one arm. It just well, you, if you look at this coat for you, so you can see. Kind of, it kind of hanging down. Isn't yeah, this well, it's empty. So you can see the coat for you. Anyway, so tell us what happened to his arm. When he was 14 years old, he was up in a tree in Face, Utah. He fell out of a tree and broke his arm. They didn't, in those days, they didn't have anything to set them with, <coughs> with or anything, and his gangrene set in, and they had to amputate So that's what they call the old sawbones. The sawbones cut his arm off because they couldn't I fix it. I remember them telling me that when Dad came to, he says, where's my arm? Where's my arm? Couldn't find his arm. I bet he was mad. <laughs> I thought he was, okay, let's see, that would be my brother Ed, that one. Well, if this is you down here. That's me. So that's my brother Ed, and that's probably up above him that mother's holding. Is there another, that's Arthur, De or that's Mel, and the other one was Bob that was in there. Nope, so you just got. Yeah, see. Three kids. Ed on, in front of my dad, my brother Bob, me, and my brother Mel. Okay. This is on the back of this picture that we were just looking at. Yeah. <clears throat> we got a we got an inscription on it, so we'll see what it uh, 
It says uh, August 28th, 1920. Okay, I, I Clone Draft, New Mexico. Dear Papa, New Mexico. Clone Draft, C L O N D C R O T F T. Cloud Cross. Cloud Cross. Oh, that's a U that been in. Okay, Cloud Cross. Says, says, Dear Papa, we thought perhaps you would like to see how we all look at Cloud Cross. So we'll send you our picture. Mary is better and looks better now than she did when the picture was taken. Hope all of you are well there. Best luck from Joanne and Kitties? Buddies? Here, let me we'll, we'll put on here and you guys can figure out what that last word is. Kitties. Kids. This is K-I-D-D-I-E-S. Kitties. Yeah. Well, it must be Anne, not Joanne. Oh, Oh, that's uh, that's my dad, Joe, and Anne and Kitty. Oh, love from Joe wrote, and and Kitty. Uh, oh, okay. Mr. Grandma Sellers are to. Oh, it must be Grandpa Doan. Your papa. Must be your papa. That must be Grandpa Doan. So I would. Uh, August. Uh, let's see. Mel was Mel was born January. The first, or uh, January the um, 19th, in 1920. So that Mel that she's holding in her arms. Of course, the little, the cute little B in front there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've changed. <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> I'm trying to remember who. Oh, uh, here's the, here's the, here's the hoodlums. <laughs> uh, check this out. Not a hoodlums. Out on the road. Looks like Bonnie and Clyde, this old car. Who's this? <laughs> I wonder who those two people are. That is my beloved husband, Arthur, and me. They look like our Plymouth we had in the background. Have the date there. I don't know when it would take. It would have to be taken, I guess, when we lived in Santa. Well, I'm trying to see if there's a date on the uh, on date? the license plate. Um, can't read it. Turn it over and see if there's anything. Nope, nothing on the back. I'm sure that's after we came back from Shasta Dam. I don't know. Is anything in the background here? I don't think we had the Plymouth when we were up in Shasta Dam. Can we see that background? Make anything what that is? Mount Rushmore, you know? <laughs> he looks a little happy. Guess he made the right choice. Oh, yeah. Can you see you and Bill and your and Grandpa? You think so? I don't know. Yeah, a little. <laughs> I can sure see him now, but I don't know. If yeah, I could see it then. Mm -hmm. Bill, here's one picture we... That's I who I was named after. I can't place, I'm sure that looks like all these sellers. Yeah, what else is that? My cousin. Probably one of your cousins? Oh! She's the one that married the guy that was in the... He wasn't with... There's my dad! Woohoo! Hey, Dad! I'm here! <clears throat> the face behind the camera. Good, good head of hair, just like your dad. <laughs> okay, anyway. <clears throat> I didn't know who these, these guys were. There's a bunch of kids in the tree, just probably cousins. Well, that would have to be down. We were in trees. I was always climbing the trees with my brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Are you 
you've had anything, <coughs> any of those pictures bring back any memories or anything when you were a girl growing up? Stuff that, no. Uh, no. What do you remember about your dad? Yeah. You got any, any childhood memories, stuff you guys did, things that you, you remember about him? I remember my dad could sure drive with his one arm. <laughs> drive a golf ball? No, you mean drive a car. Drive a car. <laughs> Where, you were born in uh, El Paso, Texas? Yep. What do you remember about us? When did you leave there? How old were you? We, we left El, El Paso in 1931. Uh, How old were you? 31, 18, 28. I was 12 going on 13. Anything about El Paso that you want to pass on to your posterity? Anything happened there? Anything special? No. <laughs> Just that I kept trying to imitate my brothers and I got it accident. We had a um, a bed that would had uh, you know these big. Uh, it was a brass bed. My brothers, they'd always stand up on the thing and fall back on the on the bed. I tried it. My knee came up and hit me in the eye, and I had a black eye. <laughs> then my brothers, when they they could always ride a bicycle with no hands. When I tried it, I fell over and skid my knee. Going to church, what church was like back in the what kind when of board building church, you guys when we, were, we met in what they called the Odd Fellows building. You, you met your dad? My huh? dad? You what? We, we, who'd you meet? Yeah. Oh, you mean the, the church you met there? That's how you met Yeah, the church you met there. Okay. And uh, I remember yeah. on Mother's Day, they had a big, all around the uh, around the outside, they'd have a big circle where the mother, the mother sat. They don't do that now. They just have everybody sitting together. Yep. What you got there? Uh, you got Dowie? Oh, those are stickers, Ashley. Anyway, we built we built our chapel at night. I think it was around 1930. And uh, Dad was the ward clerk there at the time. fights at school or anything? No, but I, my brother Arthur and my sister Joanne says all they can remember of me that I was mean to them all the time. <laughs> I remember, I remember one time, I don't know what happened, but my brother made, made me mad and I chased him around the house and he went in the bathroom and locked the door and I knocked the door down. <laughs> That's the true Curtis. I there ain't no locked door to keep us a, back. I was a doan then. I wasn't a Curtis. Free Curtis. Free Curtis. I didn't dad until 1936 at BYU. Where'd you meet dad? I met him at BYU in 1936. How'd you meet him? They were, uh, my girlfriend and I were running around and 
in, the, in those days, I don't know if they still do, when you're a freshman, you have a freshie cap on, and you're supposed to wear it all the time. Well, my girlfriend and I didn't have our caps on, and we walked into this uh, little ice cream parlor, and Dad and his two, I guess two of his brothers were sitting there with their little caps on. So we thought we'd be smart, and we thought we'd let them think we were upper climbers. <laughs> they were kidding with us, and the next morning, we had seminary class, and of course we had to wear our little caps, and I walked into the seminary class with my cap on, and there sat Dad, and boy did he laugh, because we thought we were so smart and being no upper classmen. <laughs> so I went with Dad a little bit, but he got mad at me one time and quit me and started going with my roommate. Yeah? Yeah, we didn't get together until about two and a half years later, two years later. He called me up in Salt Lake, asked me for a date. He'd already asked somebody else, but she couldn't go, so he called me as a last resort. <laughs> Who was so bait, you, Mom? So a year later, he came through. No. He was, uh, he'd come through during the spring of the year, bringing seats they would got off their ranch in Delta, Utah. And he'd go, he, so he called me up and we got together and we started going together. <clears throat> we were sitting in front of the post office because he was going to uh, mail a money order down to Uncle Heath from the seed. We were sitting out in the front of the car and he, he said, you will marry me, won't you? And I said, yes. <laughs> and that's how he, he said it. Huh? He had that big check in his hand, money, and my mom goes, sure. So he had all, <laughs> so he'd already sent that to Uncle, but I did think he had money, because he was always spending money on me when he was around. How you dress? You dress good? Yeah, he, I guess, I don't know. Well, you look at the other guys, the way, the way he wore it. The day before he proposed to me was a conference in Salt Lake. It was Easter Sunday. And we went to conference that day. Then the next day, he proposed to me. Oh, oh. And then you were married when? Uh, he proposed to me in April. We were married in September. He had a job up in Wyoming during the summer. And once or twice, he'd come down to see me. down one time unexpectedly and I was wearing somebody else's dress. He almost quit me. <laughs> what what ring did you have on? Oh, some kid. What was his name? I don't remember. Oh, J.R. I think his name was. No, that was my cousin's husband's name. I don't know what his name was. I don't remember. Thank goodness. <laughs> What are these pictures I have? That's my dad. He's older. That's my brother, Art. That's your that's dad, dad there? That's my dad. That would have to be taken before 1936, because he died in 1936. No date on that. <clears throat> What's him? That's my brother, Arthur. Don't know if that's when he was on his mission or not. Good little boy. Mm -hmm. He and his wife are on a mission right now in uh, uh, Bogota, Colombia. That's my brother Mel and his wife Millian. She passed away this last year. Uh, they look right there in No, 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 no. That's Uncle Art and Aunt Helen. What's yeah. the matter with me? That and that's what Art. I said. They're on a mission in, at the Bogota, Colombia temple. Do they work in the temple? They work in the temple. He's one, he's one of the counselors in the presidency of the temple. And they're, they'll be coming home in October. I don't know why I thought it was Mel and Lillian. That's Art and Helen. So your family back then in Salt Lake, they knew uh, the, any of the church dignitaries, anybody in the church that we know any names? Well, they knew President Kimball. And he spoke at my mother's funeral in 1966. Was he a prophet? Was he the prophet then or one of the twelve? He was one of the twelve. Uh -huh. And uh, 
at the time that we knew him, he was uh, the stake clerk and my dad was the ward clerk. And of course, the, uh, it was in the St. Joseph stake at the time and it covered part of Arizona, part of New Mexico, and El Paso, Texas, where I, where we were. And he would go around to, uh, you know, different places. He'd make his rounds and meet with the, with the war clerks. So my grandpa worked with one of the uh, future president of the church. Yeah. That's cool. What about uh, anybody else? Who's that? Those are the pictures that you have in your your mom had in her house, painted by somebody. Mm -hmm. Was it? Uh, one of the Skousens or somebody? Did you know uh, Leon Skousen or who? Was yeah, we know from Nuclear Skousen and did his he, wife. Did he paint? I don't remember, but I know that uh, Peter Skousen, who is uh, Leon's mother, uh, went to see. I have a. I did have a picture of her and mother. They were in the. Um, I think it was in the in, in Hawaii. They had gone on the, to there on a trip. Mother used to, she'd go on several trips with a group from the ward that would sponsor the, uh, the trips. And, and we always called her Aunt Rita. She lived here in California, but she, I don't know where she and Mother met, but they were the best of friends. And uh, I knew the family, so I, but I, wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't think he remembered, remembered us, he might, I don't know. We'll lose the will. <laughs> well, I said we'll lose the will. We'll finish this up. We'll do more taping on this. Well, I marked it. Well, what do you expect? We'll have a long bus ride up here. We'll start in school in, in, in two days. Yep. We got we'll a lot to do. Load and call. Who's moving? Southern California, baby. Oh, there she is. I'll oh, <laughs> try to go right over the top. So did you decide what I I had a couple more but decided we're gonna do some projects, right? You got you got them right there handy? She only got a couple more pictures and then we're gonna do uh get something get Will woke up. We got two more pictures I'll here, Mom. This one off camera because I don't know that they're family. Whoa, these what's are the church? Pictures. One that's my husband. Yeah. Boy, does that not look that's like that me? me? Yep. Wow. She doesn't need to do all these. Just have her do her family. My dad, our... Ooh, look at this hottie. Ooh. That's oh. Mary. That is me. And I'm wearing, uh, I don't know if, our, if that's our wedding pictures or not, but I'm wearing the dress that I got married in. No name on the back of this. I don't know. One of the kids, who knows? That's my brother Bob. His, one of his uh, graduation caps. He had several. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's my brother Ed and his wife, Maureen. Marianne and Bill. Oh, well, you look in the sun to get you a better view on the TV, Mom. That is a color picture. That looked like me and Dad. Where at? I imagine we were up at, at uh, Yellowstone. Uh huh. That's Marianne and Bill. It's got the dates on the slide there when they're 63. Were Yeah, it looks that like that's Pat, too. Me and Marianne yeah, and Pat. Like Pat's in that picture, too. Marianne looks a little, uh, little pregnant. Uh, a little pregnant. Little pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> Hi, Pat. That's Dad. We had just gotten out of the service. 
Uncle Eldon, uh, no, that's going to be my dad, that's you, dad. my grandfather. Hey, Can you get a hold of this so I can stop shaking? Bill? No, Albert? No. Yeah, Albert. that's the family. That's me and Mom, Dad, Marianne, and Albert. Okay, Albert. Hey, look. Albert. See if you get a good shot of that face and see if it looks like me. Well, I'm trying to get the... I'm going to make everybody sick shaking this thing around. September 68. Yeah. We got out of the service and we went on a big vacation. Went up to Utah. Your dad was married then. That they just took pictures of the family there. Uh huh. We getting close up to these guys. Doesn't look like me, man. That's scary. <laughs> A dollar bill. Good looking guy. Come on. My dear. Look at Albert. Brand Albert. We got angelic face my brother had. Albert. Yeah. He lives down in Southern California by me. Well, probably about two hours away okay. now, but I didn't used know that Vitalia was not right close to Fresno. Yeah. Look at that. Who's fishing? My, my mom and my dad, me. You used to fish? Oh yeah, my dad loved to fish. No, I don't think so that much for fishing, Bill. He loved hunting. <laughs> Manly sport. You know, my father I never, never took me hunting. Fishing pole. Well, we got the proof right here. Yeah. Your grandpa used to take your dad and uncle. And my bib overalls, I wore them suckers for years. I, you know, they grew up. Oh, there's Albert there. No, that's, that's not me. Albert. That's me. Grandpa used to take my dad and who? And, and Uncle Albert, they'd take them out hunting. They'd shoot a cat. When they were up with Uncle, at Uncle Ted's, they went shooting rabbits. That's Ted's dog. That's my Uncle Ted's dog. And how many rabbits did you kill one night? A hundred and something. <laughs> Y'all killed that many rabbits We were in a Jeep. Night. We were in a Jeep. We were spotlighting them. We hit them with the spotlight. They'd freeze and go pow right in the road. They'd be all over the road, the side of the road and everything. And we just... <laughs> right after that, they took... They, Close the, the bounty. Yeah, there was a bounty on the rabbits. So they couldn't shoot them anymore. You don't need to do all these, but. Oh, right, right. Okay. Well, who took this picture oh, here? Wow, cut my dad's car. Marianne, Bill, and Albert. Get the car. The one who took the picture cut my dad off. They like, I guess they like the cardboard they did. Look at that. They get that centered up. You don't think that's your dad taking the picture? No. My dad's oh, right yeah, there. There he is. He, he, I he, see him. Half of him. Yeah. Seems like to me we had a neighbor take a picture of us. I'm not sure. Probably Smith. Yeah, your dad probably said, make sure you get the car in the picture. <laughs> well, they made sure they got the car. My brother Albert, that's me, obviously. My dad always wears had some cool cars. <laughs> Can you show this one? Let me see. Yeah, this would be... Well, let's see. Let's get it on the camera and we can talk about it. You We're at, uh, it? at Salt Lake. That's the Great Salt Lake. Yeah. Now, who was the picture of that? That'd be tossed between it was you and Aaron. I'm not sure. No, that's me. My mother just told me that's me. Those are the two Williams there. Junior and the third. Big oh, Great Salt Lake, huh? Come on, <laughs> dude. We were in Utah here. This is <clears throat> this is at Uncle Ted's. We were at some river down by Uncle Ted's. 
We had a big rope swing that went over the go across the river. And I had just fallen off, and this is one of a series of pictures. I don't know where the rest of them are, but they got me swinging across the picture and the, uh, the river. And as I swam across the river, the rope broke, and I went down, flash in the water. And it said, because up until then, we hadn't gotten really soaked. And I went down and head first into the water and got soaked, because that's what I'm yelling about. Ah, burp. So here's one of them. Let's see. There's me again. Well, he's holding you up. Is that me? Yeah. Let's see, here we are. Let's get him in here, see if we can get a... I wanted to get a much better pit, take these lights out of this, these pictures out of this we'll vinyl pull cover. The, pull the uh, plastic off of them. They should still stick to the paper. There you go. Let's see if that helps. Oh, yeah. I had some fun with my dad. I remember that trip. I, you know, the rope swaying and everything. I thought it was a Russian river, but I guess not. I guess it was up by Uncle. There's your mom. Hi, sweetheart. That's probably Aaron she told him. Gotta be me in the front, no? No. Those are our cousins. What cousins? I don't know. Some dumb, you know, fellas. Yeah. I don't know. So that could even be you, Will. That is probably me. It's on the sheet with my picture, so it's probably me. Because you're not in the, the other group. That would be me on my dad's shoulders. We were at the copper pit in Nevada here. Woohoo! There's my brother David, my Pretty brother important. Bobby. Will's up in the cabbage seat. Of course. And I don't know, we can see the mine in the background. These are pretty bad pictures, pretty grainy. See how, how grainy they were in those days? Okay, I'm just, I've had it. I'm out of here. We'll close off this for now. All right. Hey, William. Hello, William. How you doing, William? Doing good. Doing good. Love my pictures. I love my pictures. Oh, who's this? That's that song, funny. <laughs> I'm holding that rose over my heart. Uh-huh. That's your sister? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, my sister was a real hot, cute, talented. Well, Paul, that's my grandma Curtis. I think we're gonna watch a movie before uh, church starts. Do that. Better put it on quick. I'll watch it with the Joseph F. Smith. Just finish that, that little tape up. And we hit the movie after church. What we can do after Smith. Okay. Bye, Grandma. Joseph F. Smith on after church. we do that. What? We do the movie now and then Joseph Smith after the Joseph F. Smith. Sure. Finish that up. My dad, my dad. Wherever I go, my daddy goes, my daddy, goes, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy. Oh, the pop star, my daddy and me. Oh, the pop star, sweeter. What'd you call her? Oh, the pop star, sweeter. Oh, oh, oh.
Get a brush. No. Here we go. We'll dry. Uncle Will's got the brush. He'll do it. Here, here's her Tigger thing. She loves Tigger. Grandpa's baby? Grandpa's Oh, yours, man. Who gave that to you? Uncle. Which uncle? Bobby. <laughs> That'll make his ego just Bobby. be so cute. Bobby. Hey, uncle Bobby? Bobby? Say dollar bill. <laughs> Did you talk to Uncle Aaron last night? My name, Dollar Bill. Say Uncle Aaron. Say Uncle Aaron. Papa. Grandpa. Grandpa. Are you pretty? Say I'm pretty. Who's that? Mm. Uncle Will? <laughs> I say Who I'm pretty. It? Who's this? I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ashley. Ashley. Don't laugh at her. We don't want her to burp. <laughs> she stood up the table last night. <laughs> Mimic Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> Ashley, say I'm pretty. We'll keep it covered up. We don't want these boobies showing anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go get right off. Get your diaper on. I'm going to say January 1, 2000. <laughs> That's going to mess up the whole world unless you be I've already told them that the date was. I don't know how to change the date on the camera. Okay. What? Oh, now don't she's on, naked. Don't, don't get on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show your future husband. <laughs> Come here. Come here. So I need diapers. All right. I think we'll get ready for church. Turn on. Here, somebody put diapers on her. Thank you. Somebody. Bye, folks. Sure, I'm pretty.
uh, uh, lunch pants. Hi. Get used to that. Go to school, primary, whatever. I you will lose. It's finished. It's good. You will lose your name. I'll be right back. Yeah. You don't have a name. Just like when you have older brothers and sisters. Oh, you're Kendall and his little sister. She was a good one. <coughs> you know, same for you. No thanks. You went okay. that way last night. This is the morning. You came out ready to go. the same question. Bonneville for Elijah's Essen. There's my blue. And his grandma's already packing as usual. And now we go to the man of the hour. Let's uh, with Grandpa's boy. Let's fiction that here just a minute. It's the man of the hour. Yeah. I have the scriptures. They're there. And I can go through the sleepy Brian. A lot. There's a mom and papa. Getting ready to go to the blessing. Hello. We're on the way. I forgot your shirt. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. And my coat. One last check? No, no, we don't. No, you go right. It's on your other keys. Okay. This is uh, good. the 10th of September. Hello. Bye. I cannot believe Karina is down here. She was out to California and we put her, her little baby's foot up against my two-year-old's, um, she's small, two-year-old's um, foot, and he's two-thirds of the foot size. I haven't done for a while. They kind of pinch my feet a little bit. Yeah, we are. Okay, we're doing the blessing. Do you want to be the door guard? Oh, yeah. 
up. Okay, but Kendall and some of them, we got to get them in here. Did somebody take the phone off the hook? Was that a good idea? Okay. Oh, <laughs> But it was a good idea, right? Yeah. In this household. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Kenny's husband? Can we turn that air conditioner off so it can hear better? Yeah, that'd be good. How do you turn it off? I'll just do it. Where's Cosette? Is she in here someplace? Somewhere. Father in heaven, by the authority of the holy Melchizedek priesthood, which we hold, we take this child in our arms to give him a name and a blessing. The name by which he shall be known on the records of the church, Elijah Hiram Mitaki Shunbupa Curtis. And at this time, Father, we'd like to ask, by virtue of this priesthood, a blessing upon this lady. We bless him with health and strength throughout his life, with a love for the gospel, and the of companionship available of the Holy Ghost. We bless him with an understanding of the atonement of Jesus Christ, and a relationship with his heavenly parents. We bless him with a glad heart and a sense of humor. That he will be given the strength and happiness to carry him through the trying times of his life. We bless him with a love for his family members, his parents, and his extended relatives, and his brothers and sisters who have come into this world. We bless him with the ability to empathize greatly with others, to love all those around him and to be an example of truth and righteousness. We bless him with a love for the arts and with a love for all the righteous. We bless him that he will learn of the power and the priesthood in his life and learn to exercise it in behalf of others. We bless him with an understanding of the needs of his family members. That he will be a support and strength and help to his parents. We bless him that he will influence for good in our family. That we may work together to bring him up in love and truth. And that he may grow into the man that thou desires for him. To become like him in thy sight. And that we may be good examples for him. We bless him with the love during the gospel. That he may have a testimony that will be strong. And the desires of communicating with all those around. And we bless them with the love of the ordinances of the temple, that they may guide his life and that he may from his infancy be directed toward that heavenly place wherein 
he will make the covenant that will enable him to return. We bless him with happiness and peace and joy and activity. We bless him with the strength to endure and the desire to fulfill and know thy will throughout his life. These blessings, Father, we pray and thank you for this child, for the love that has brought him into our family, and to increase it, which has allowed him to come into our family. Ask that we may be faithful to this great trust. In these things we pray, and these blessings we seek from you in our family. According to his power and his faith, and his will. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 <laughs> oh, that's a good picture. Thanks for being with us today. Thank Bishop, you. We've we got two seconds. Can we get you to get a snapshot of you real quick? Well, it's not really a snapshot. <laughs> it's a rolling snapshot here. The bishop, the daddy, the grandpa, and Raja. Okay. Where's the other grandpa? Put both grandpas together. Aaron? Hello, baby, baby daddy, uh, and two grand. Oh, mom, let's well, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing her. <laughs> we'll do oh, them together. There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, life is so hairy now. Having everybody to you and me. Um, my dad is struggling a little bit. Uh, but I think <laughs> No, no, no problem. Hey, I'm just. Here.